so I began thinking about, you know, stuff we could do to revitalize downtown or, or bring more business to downtown. Um, one semi-effective thing we could do is, is do a supercharging station downtown. So take, take the park, a parking lot downtown um, that's near a lot of the small businesses. Put 5, 10, 15 superchargers. I don't know. We, there's companies out there that sell those um, besides Tesla. And they'll fit any electric car. It's, it's not that they're coming pretty standard. Um, but, but put those in in a partnership with AEP, um, right? And then figure out how to monetize, you know, the, uh, the the energy, you know, to where we're at least covering the costs um, between us and a between Kingsport and AEP. And then get it on the supercharger maps because what what we're seeing is in 2019 we hit peak um, oil consumption in the world. Uh, so that means that we will not use more oil going forward than we, than we did in 2019. It'll continue to decline. Um, Tesla shipped 183,000 cars-ish uh, in quarter one, right? And they're continuing to pump out more and more. And now you've got Volkswagen going to change their name to Volt. You know, Volkswagen is going to change to Volkswagen. So like electric volts. Um, they literally are going to start changing their name and they've all identified they're not going to produce any more, uh, uh, you know, basically petrol burning cars or, or gasoline burning cars is this they'll all phase them out uh, so right now kingsport's got an opportunity within the tri-cities to be one of the cities that actually sets up its own supercharging station uh, and this is they got you got to charge cars in you know 80 percent to in about an hour um, but put it on the map get it downtown next to the small businesses that are there so that's why can pop in have lunch go shopping whatever um, and really kind of advertise that in partnership with aep uh, I think that would be a great way to revitalize or bring new stuff into downtown, um, especially as we exit the pandemic, people will be looking for those. And does it take a ton to put them up? No, you got to have some electricity and the superchargers. They basically superchargers, I think, have batteries in them that charge and then they do a fast discharge of DC to DC. Um, and that's how they supercharge the cars. Um, so it's, it's really buying those units and then doing the pro forma to see how does it pay back and, and is it worth it. And with the infrastructure funding uh, that Biden is proposing this would probably easily fall within one of those grants right so the federal government will probably pay for most stuff but just an idea on what we can do downtown with a parking lot uh that and then that and what we'd have to do from the city is enforcement you know ordinance enforcement to where people don't park there unless they're charging and they can only stay there so long while they're charging because you don't want them booked up if you if you go and look at um Tesla Knoxville and then the the supercharging stations in Bristol right um, I've, I've, I'm, I follow groups on Facebook but they're like full every weekend with lines waiting right now um, to do the supercharging right so there's there's obviously a demand that's there and these people when they're sitting there they're sitting there they, I mean so you might actually get somebody pop into your town for two hours one they're waiting an hour to get the charger and then two they're actually waiting while their car charges so they might go do some shopping or walk around downtown um, if, if we have the if we have an inviting method to do so so but I think that's an area that's, that's pretty important that we look at uh, how do we do supercharging downtown and it, I, I, it would have a window right they'll eventually get it to where they charge faster um, but this would have a window and a payback period that is really worth evaluating from uh, the, the city's perspective to use some of those parking lots anyway